In this problem, we're asked to compute the first four partial sums of this series, n from 1 to infinity of cosine n pi over 2. So just a quick reminder of what a partial sum is. A partial sum Sn is the sum of the first n terms of the series. So let's get them written down. S1 is the sum of just the first term of the series. So that's just cosine pi over 2, which is 0. Then we move on to S2, the sum of the first two terms of the series. So that will be S1 plus the second term in the series, which is cosine 2 pi over 2, which is cosine pi. So S1 was 0, cosine pi is negative 1, and my second partial sum is negative 1. Then I move on to S3, and that'll be the previous partial sum plus the third term, cosine 3 pi over 2, but that's 0. So S2 was negative 1. And then I add in the third term 0 to that, and I still have negative 1. Then I move on to the fourth partial sum. That'll be whatever the sum of the first three terms is plus the fourth term. Well, the sum of the first three terms was negative 1. And the cosine of 4 pi over 2, that's the cosine of 2 pi. That's 1. And I get back to 0. So I can say the sequence of partial sums begins this way. 0, negative 1, negative 1. 0 and so on and so on. Now I think it's clear just from this start that the sequence of partial sums is not going to converge. We're just going to keep bouncing between 0 and negative 1. So I could go ahead and extend this problem to the question of whether or not the series converges and I could say the limit as n goes to infinity of my sequence of partial sums does not exist because I'm not settling down to one particular number. So the sum diverges. If you find the math content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce dozens of new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.